There are some big questions heading into the Houston Texans OTAs. But we should get some answers this week. Nate Griffin is with a former player to talk all about the team. Good morning to you both. That's right. Good morning, Jose. And Melissa, joining me now, former Houston Texan offensive lineman Fred Weary, talking Texans this morning. And, of course, let's talk about D'Amico. <laughs> One of your guys. You should know him very, very well. Your thoughts about him taking over as head coach of the team. We haven't spoken since then. Yeah, man, I think it's, you know, phenomenal, you know, have a guy like D'Amico, you mm -hmm. know, to come back to the city and all this stuff. I mean, someone who, you know, really, you know, poured his heart out for this organization as a player. And, uh, you know, now for him to come back here as a coach, man, it's just, man, it's, 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 Hey, the city is going to, you know, really appreciate a guy like him. Yeah, you were at the press conference that day, and of course, a lot of people, a lot of former players were there as well. Team direction, we kind of talked about this before you and I actually got on. What direction would you like to see the team go in now that D'Amico is the head coach? You've got some new blood in that locker room. I mean, just, you know, good things. I mean, I, you know, came in here as an original Texans 2002, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of, you know, was here when D'Amico got drafted. Uh, man, and just, you know, just to get the excitement back in the city, I think that's the number one thing, you know, for us as an organization, uh, you know, just to, I mean, you know, yes, it's, it's about winning and all this stuff. I mean, we can't, we can't forget that piece and all, but we got to bring the fan base back and bring some excitement back to the city. Okay, I want to ask you about your quarterback, C.J. Stroud. You being a former offensive lineman out of Tennessee, <laughs> All-American, all of that, you know, you play in the league. One of the first things you think about is protecting your quarterback, C.J. Stroud. Right. What are your opinions about him, and what do you see? I mean, you know, uh, the kid has done a, a lot in college. I mean, mm -hmm. just in the short amount of time that he's been there and all this stuff. And so, I mean, he still has a, a lot of ceiling and all. And, uh, you know, for them to come in, I mean, uh, and, you know, make that pick and pick him and bring him here to this organization, I think is huge. Uh, we're going to have to protect him. Yep. Uh, I think, you know, Titus, uh, Laramie. Uh, man, I like the, you know, the juice drugs kids that they got, you know, to come in, uh, you know, to beef up the offensive line and stuff to make sure that we get him protected and just let the kid go out there and make plays and stuff. Yeah, finally agreed to contract terms with big juice drugs. I can't wait to see what he's going to look like. Right. I mean, with that type field. of name, man, you got to <laughs> you got to have <laughs> you the juice, bring right? the juice, right? <laughs> yeah, you got to bring the juice. Okay, we know that uh, owners meetings, the spring meetings are today. In regards of what you would like to see with football, and I know they're, you know, they're talking about Thursday night games and what have you. Right. What would you like to see as a player? You like Thursday night games? Uh, you know, Thursday night games didn't really kind of catch me too well yeah. I mean, and all this stuff. I mean, uh, you know, they're going to bring some big games. I mean, that'll be one thing and all. But, I mean, uh, the direction of the NFL, man, I think it's, you know, going, you know, the right way. Uh, I mean, that's where they get paid the big bucks to go out there and make all these types of decisions and stuff and just hopefully it's in the best interest of the players. Yeah, no question about that. Okay, I know before we get away from here, you have a camp coming up. I mean, mm -hmm. you're teaching young offensive linemen to be big <laughs> offensive linemen <laughs> like you, you know, collegiate and pro. Can I talk about that? Yeah, uh, Mad Lyman Foundation, I, every year, I mean, I think this is year 13 for me, um, you know, I come in and I do a free football camp. Uh, it's a four-day camp. It's in the Pearland area. Uh, I have a lot of kids from my youth football organization, the Shadow Creek Titans, that come and, you know, participate in the camp. So it's free. Uh, you know, you can go to www.madlyman.org, M-A-D-L-I-N-E-M-A-N. Um, and, you know, you can sign, any kids can sign up in the area for the camp. All right, very good, very good. we got to get out of here. But before we go, I have to ask you for a prediction on your Texas this season. You knew I was going to do it. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Give me a quick prediction. Oh, man, I, I'm going to say 12 and 5. 12 and 5. 12 and 5? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going, hey, we're going to the playoffs, and we're going to go get this AFC South. 12 and 5, all right. Okay. <laughs> Fred, we're rejoining us in studio, former Houston Texan offensive lineman joining us here. And, of course, happy to have him here. We're live in studio. Nate Griffin, Fox 26 Morning Sports. <laughs> 12 and 5. That's not bad. Oh, not no, bad no. at all. We'll take 12 it. and 5 at D'Amico Ryan's first season. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all in. I'm for that. There you go. Thanks, all right. guys. Yes, ma'am.